This is question number 15 in the ACT math exam I'm working through, and this one is going to test your ability to work with binomials in algebra. So let's read the question. The dimensions of the triangle shown here are in meters. What is the area in square meters of the triangle? All right, so as a reminder, the area of a triangle can be found by taking one half base times height, right? So, but we have algebraic expressions for Let's draw a line across. Algebraic expressions for the base and height here. So we have two binomials. We binomials are just algebraic expressions in two terms. That's one, two, one, two. Same thing here. One and two. So two binomials, and they comprise our base and height. So we just need to plug the base and height into the equation for an area of the triangle, and we'll get our answer. So put that in. So one half times the base, which is four x plus two and also times the height, which is x plus 8. All right, so the first thing to do is to take these two binomials and multiply them. And the way you do that is to use uh, the method called FOIL, right? And that means that you are going to multiply the first terms first, the outside terms second, the inside terms third, and the last terms fourth or last, right? So let's go ahead go ahead and do that. So if I've got uh, this expression, the first term is 4x on this side and x. So I take the first terms and that's 4x times x and down here I'll put 4x squared, right? So that's the first terms. Then we do the outside terms. So we've done the first terms, now we do the outside. So that would be 4x times 8, all right? Well 4x times 8 is uh, plus 32x, right? And then I'm going to do the inside term, that is, or terms, that's 2 times x, so that's plus 2x. And then I do the last term, so that's 2 times 8. All right, so I get plus 16. So, uh, and we'll combine the like terms, so we end up, I'll just change colors here again, so we end up with 4x squared and then with 32x plus 2x, we can combine those because they're similar terms. They both have an x variable at the end. So that's plus 34x, and then again plus 16, right? Now, we may be tempted to choose d, but d is not the answer because we if we choose d, we've forgotten to take everything times a half, right? We still have to get the area of this triangle here. So we got to take the whole expression times 1 half. Well, uh, that just means we take each term separately, half of each term, right? So half of 4x uh, squared is 2x squared, half of 34x is 17x, and half of 16 is 8. So the area of our triangle is just this expression, which happens to be C.